Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma, behind the camera is Alex, and we have just moved into our new apartment in Istanbul, and I have had my first attempt at making Turkish meze. We have left Izmir and we are now in Istanbul where we will be spending the next six weeks. We arrived late last night to our new apartment and we've spent all morning teaching and we've just finished unpacking and making ourselves at home. Today's video we want to show you what it's like when we move to a new city. We are going to start with a tour of our apartment and then we are going to head outside and check out the neighbourhood and a local market. Welcome to our humble abode. This place has cost us 750 euros for six whole weeks of being here. This is just over a hundred dollars a week and that includes all your bills. We've got aircon, we've got a swimming pool and we've got super fast Wi-Fi. This tour isn't going to take that long because of course it's not going to be a huge apartment but we're staying in a pretty cool area of Istanbul on the Asian side. Our students have recommended that we had to come and stay in Kadokoy which is kind of a cool hip area probably. <laughs> as you come into the apartment as you can see you're greeted by a bed which is a little bit weird <laughs> and if I could just bring your attention over here it's just a short walk to the kitchen where we do our cooking where I do our cooking okay where Emma does the cooking and I watch and eat <laughs> next let me take you to the lounge which is where we do all our lounging <laughs> so this actually this room this quite obviously was the bedroom and I don't really know why the bed is in the other room but each to their own, it works. We actually could find cheaper places to stay for the time that we're here but as English teachers we need separate rooms for when we're teaching so we always need to find a separate room. So this room here is where I impart my wisdom to those lucky students that get to have me and in the other room Emma has fashioned a desk out of an ironing board because <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Finally, we've got two more rooms. You can probably guess what one of them is. That's right. It's the place where we dump our dots. <laughs> dump our dots? What does that even mean? I don't know. My dad says it for pooing. <laughs> and finally, the surprise room. I bet you're excited for this one. This one is where I do all my hiding. It actually does. The other day he called my name and I had to come looking for him. And this is where I was. <laughs> So we haven't actually had a chance to even step outside yet since we've been here. So we are going to go and explore the local neighborhood. Our host told us that there is actually a huge historical market that is only about a 15 minute walk away, which is selling loads of fresh fruit, vegetables, and everything else that you could possibly want for your kitchen. And this is something that Alex and I actually get really excited about when we settle in the place, is filling up the fridge and cupboards with everything that we need. And it also really helps to keep the price down because we obviously cannot be eating out every single night. Let's go. absolutely gutted. That did not go at all to plan. We walked to where both the host and Google Maps told us the market would be and we were met with a enormous empty car park where it should have been. So at this market there are normally more than 4,000 sellers. So in turn you'd think you'd notice it if it was there. We were not the only confused people either. There were lots of people who looked like locals talking in Turkish, who seemed extremely confused, looking at the car park area, looking at their phones, calling people up, and nobody seemed to know what was going on. So obviously we didn't all get the memo and they've decided to close it today. We have decided that instead of going to a nice colourful local market, we're just going to try and cook up a storm here at home instead. One thing we really love to do when we come to a new place, well one thing I like to do when we come to a new place, is learn how to cook some of the local dishes. So today I've got a few ingredients together, I have no idea if it's going to be enough, but I'm going to attempt to make some Turkish meze. Most of what we've got is just kind of veggies and things like that, but there are a couple of things that I want to show you. Namely, the yoghurt. So, as you may or may not know, the Turkish love their yoghurt. And actually, yoghurt is originally Turkish, not Greek. Those pesky Greeks claiming it for their own. It's the bloody Turks that made it. So, 
If you go to a, any supermarket in Turkey, you'll be confronted with a whole aisle full of yogurt. It is very intimidating. And I didn't actually know that there were that many different types of yogurt. So I'm not quite sure what I bought. It could be completely wrong. But it comes by the bucket load. <laughs> And I also got a smaller part of this different yogurt, which we actually had when we were on the boat on the Gullet Cruise a few weeks ago. So when I was on the boat, I actually learned how to make a few of the dishes. So fingers crossed, this is going to be the right one to make some meze. I don't think I've ever actually been to a country that eats so much bread as they do here in Turkey. And of course, when you have meze, you need some delicious fresh bread to mop it all up with. So we've got a loaf of bread here, and this is the kind of bread that you will see in literally every shop, convenience store dotted around Turkey. They're super, super cheap. cheap and very, very soft yeah, inside. Yeah, very soft inside, very light. So we're going to have that to have with our meze. We've got plenty of veggies and things to help with making the meze later. We've also got some things for the Turkish breakfast, so we can have that tomorrow hopefully. We've got some cheese and some olives and lots of nice things there. We've also got ourselves some Efes, uh, which is the local Turkish beer. And we've also got a bottle of Turkish wine, which is until I came to Turkey, I didn't actually realize that Turkey made their own wine. So I'm really excited to try that as well. Firstly, I just want to say, how lucky am I for this little legend? She gets all stressed when she's cooking, but look what she's made. I think actually for a first attempt at Turkish food, I'm pretty impressed with myself because I thought this was going to go completely down the pan, but I managed to not burn anything. <laughs> One big mistake that we made is the yogurt. Uh, the yogurt we had is far runnier. <laughs> runny that's such a horrible <laughs> word <laughs> far runnier than anticipated so it's definitely not the normal thick garlic yogurt that you have with meze but it's fine we'll make do and i'll improve next time um we've also got some i believe it's pronounced shakshuka which is essentially loads of veggies uh you've got tomatoes onions garlic um aubergine and courgettes um, we've got some fresh, delicious Turkish bread. Here we have some courgette fritters, um, which is courgettes, onions, cheese, and eggs and flour, and maybe some other things that I've forgotten. <laughs> um, we've got some grilled aubergine to have with the garlic yogurt, the runny garlic yogurt, <laughs> um, and some shop bought kofta because I didn't want to make kofta. It's from actually pronounced kufta. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we have some of this red pepper dip, which uses capsicum or sweet red peppers, um, which is baked until the skin goes black, and then you peel all of the skin off of it and blitz it up with lemon juice, um, chili, sumac, walnuts, all kinds of things. It's pretty great. We had that at a Meze restaurant recently, so I really wanted to replicate that. And the surprise of the evening, for me anyway, is the Turkish wine. It is absolutely delicious. I'd never even heard of Turkish wine before, which is madness because when you think about it, there's tons of grapes here. It's right in the Med region where loads of other countries around them are growing and making wine. So of course they're gonna be good at it as well. And the taste definitely can rival some of the others that I would usually buy at home. It is really Really good. Oh, I can get used to that. Meze is the best. <laughs> it is good. It was fun trying to make it and I am quite excited to learn some new recipes and try some new ones. Also really excited to go out and actually explore Istanbul. Yes. And coming soon, <laughs> my parents are coming to Istanbul. We're going to be making some videos with them. Mm -hmm. They call themselves the Hasbeens. <laughs> they should have their own YouTube channel, but unfortunately they, they don't. <laughs> So actually, if you guys have any questions for Al's parents that we could ask them, because I'm sure we're going to make some videos with them while they're here, let us know in the comments below and we will make sure we ask those questions. The garlic is very strong with that one right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo!
Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please, we're going to keep asking you every <laughs> single time to hit that like button until we get bigger than the biggest YouTuber out there. That's right, PewDiePie, we're coming for you. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would like to be notified of future videos. Also, we have a Facebook group, Earn Less, Live More. If you're interested in this lifestyle, come and join us on Facebook. And nothing left to say, the first time in my apartment, oh, turn gosh. away from Emma, <laughs> just me and you, look me right in the eyes. Thank you very much for watching, we'll see you next time, and beads out!